Hello Beginner Dragons, this is Mr. Ban. This is going into our seventh week of online classes, and I hope you guys are doing well. Um, as always, we are going to start off with a warm-up. Uh, while we're doing this warm-up, try and focus on one detail or something in the video that you want to work on. Say if it's push-ups, keeping your back straight, or sit-ups, trying to not use your arms to move forward. And also, as the month goes by, or as long as you want, um, think about respect, how you treat others, how you want to be treated. So if I'm treating someone very bad, that they are going to treat me very bad as well. So anyways, that's all I'm going to say about those two subjects for right now. But um, back to our warm up, this is what we're going to do. This is going to be a little hard. So if you guys think that this is too hard for you, try and do a different warm up, uh, maybe something from the past or something that you've been doing uh, in other things, maybe basketball or something. Uh, try and do some other warm up that won't overwork you so that you don't get too tired for class and hurt yourself. But as this warm up, um, we are going to do a very, hybrid warm-up. So this warm-up is going to work on our biceps, which is right here, our triceps, which is right here, and our core. So it's a little bit of everything except your legs. But again, if you guys want to work out your legs, you can do squats, wall sits, calf raises, um, plyometrics, whatever you really feel like. But this is just something that I want to show with you guys because this is kind of really a hard warm-up but it's very effective so we are going to start off in push-up position so as you guys know already either on your knees like this into a push-up like that keeping your back straight your arms bending till it's parallel with the ground or on your knee i mean on your toes pushing all the way down and then all the way back after that we're going to lay down roll over into crunch position or sit-up position, whatever you feel like, and sit up using your arms crossed and back down. And then we are going to do something called a tricep dip. If you guys don't know what a tricep dip is, our hands, our fingers are going to point towards our toes, putting it behind our backs like this. Our fingers still pointing towards our toes and up so our butt is not touching the ground. And we bend down as far as we can and back up. So. Your butt is not going up and down like this. We are bending our arms down and up so that we can actually work out our triceps so that if you need to pick up something like this, you won't be using your back. That might hurt yourself, but you will be working out your triceps, which if you do this a lot more often, it won't be as hard to lift up things like that. So again, tricep dip like this and back up, and then your butt is going to touch the ground, your legs will not, your back will not, nothing is touching except your butt, and you will roll back onto your stomach like this, try not to touch anything, and then back into the push-up position, and back up, down, and then onto our stomach, roll over, sit up or crunch, your arms crossed, up, down, tricep dip, and down, and then roll back over, like that. So that was only two, but we are going to keep on doing this until we get to 10. Um, after we hit 10, you can keep on moving on while pausing, and then keep on doing it for more repetitions, or you can move on to something else like squats, sit-ups, push-ups, whatever that you think you need to work on. So, let's go. That would be three. Pulling back onto our stomach. Push-up. Crunch, tricep dip. Roll back, that's four. Rolling back, 
Fine. Six. Seven. Now, I'm going to pause. Uh, you guys keep on going on, but I'm going to pause for now because I'm going to talk about focus and um, respect with you guys. So, as I was saying earlier, respect is how you treat others and how you want to be treated. So, keep on going as you do the warm up. Um, if you guys are done with the warm up, stretch. Do whatever you need to. I'm just going to keep on talking. So, as you guys stretch and talk or warm up or whatever, um, think about how you've been treated in the past and how you want to be treated. So, if you guys have been treated very poorly, like someone pushed you over or took your snack without asking you for it, um, think about how that felt, how you felt very bad, right? I hope you guys felt bad if that happened because that's not something nice to happen because if someone took my snack, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't feel very happy. I would feel pretty sad, but you have to think about how you felt and if you did something like that to someone else, that would feel very bad, right? That wouldn't feel really good. So. If you feel bad, would you want to put that on someone else? Would you want to be a bully and put that feeling on someone else and make them feel bad? Or would you try and put a good feeling on them of feeling really good and make them feel a lot better? I think you would want to make someone feel better because I don't think any of you guys are bullies. Now, as I was saying, that's how respect is. Respect is how you treat others because how you feel. So if you felt very bad and you try and put that on someone else, that's called being a bully. And you don't really wanna be a bully. You wanna be a happy person. You wanna treat others very happily. So just something to think about. Um, other than that, focus. So focus is focusing and paying attention to what you need to. So if I was doing a form and I had really awesome arms, but my stances and my kicks weren't really good, then I would have to focus on that to make it better. I wouldn't want to try and make my arms even better because they already are better. But if my legs are really bad and I never focus on them, then they'll always be bad. That means I have to pay attention to them. I have to make them look better. I have to make them better in general because if someone tries to hurt me and I kick them really bad, then that's not going to do anything for me. So focus is paying attention. And even though you're not paying attention to something else, you keep that in the back of your head. It's like if, just like in karate, if I have a guard stance and my hands are up and I have a really bad stance, that doesn't mean, oh, I have to put my hands down, fix my pants, make sure I'm in a good stance. That's not what it means. It means I have to keep my hands up, paying attention to that, while also paying attention to making sure my legs are bent, that my uh, hips are uh, square, my shoulders are right over my knees, my toes pointed to the corner, toe heel line, like I said last week, hands are up, things like that. So just because you focus on one thing doesn't mean you can forget about the rest. That's what focus is all about. Okay, so now that we've done our warm up, um, I just finished the warm up. You guys can keep on doing that warm up, or if you finished already, that's perfectly fine. Keep on watching the video. But 
We've stretched as well. We talked about focus. We talked about respect. Now we are going to move on to the next part of our form, which is going to be um, after our front kicks. We aren't going to go back to what we did last week. If you guys want a review of last week, go ahead, watch the video from last week. I just don't want to do the same drill and the same part of the form we did last week instead of moving on and improving the next part while also combining with it last week. So again, if you need review, go back to last week. If not, continue watching the video. After you finish this video, try and add both parts of the dragon form that we're doing now. If not, um, please keep that in mind so that when we come back, we actually know the whole form instead of bits and pieces that we don't know how to combine yet. Now, so we just did our uh, guard stance, back fist, twist, punch, front kick. We are now going into a side break fall. So I'm going to move to the side now so that I don't bump my head and you guys can actually see what a side break fall looks like. So I'm gonna hug my head, fall down, slap the ground like that. And then we are going to do a, take a knee. So our left knee is up, right knee is down, two cat fogs, one, two. And that's all we're going to do for this portion of the form. I know that wasn't a lot, but that is still a valuable chunk of the form that we need to do. So the first part of this portion is very, very, very important. Because if you guys don't focus on side break falls, back break falls, front break falls, whatever break fall we need to learn, then even if you aren't pushed, you could slip on ice. And if you slip on ice and you don't know how to break, back break fall or side break fall or front break, uh, front break fall, you guys won't be able to save yourself from getting hurt. Sure, it might hurt if you do a side break fall, front break fall or back break fall, but if you don't know how to do any of them, you're gonna hurt yourself even more. So that's the difference from getting a little bruise or breaking your whole arm. There's a difference. So I hope that you guys would rather get a little scratch than break your whole arm. So first we have to actually remember how to do a side break fall. So we're going into our guard stance like this. So our left, our left side is towards the target. Our right side is to the back. We are going to hug our left ear like this not our right ear, our left ear with our right hand. And we are going to land on our butt first. So laying down, sitting on our butt. And then we are going to move to our side like this. And then tucking our chin so our head doesn't hit the floor like this and slap the ground near our hip. So once again, we are in our guard stance, left side towards the target right side away from the target, hugging our left side with our right arm, hugging it so that we can tuck our chin so, so that we don't break our shoulder or dislocate it when we land. We are going to start with our butt touching the ground like this, then our side like this, and then slapping the ground right there. So one more time. This is slow, and then we're gonna pick up the pace. So, guard stance, hug your head, butt, side, and then arm. Your head should never touch the ground. And you guys should always tuck your chin so that you don't hurt yourself and give yourself a concussion because those are really bad. You don't want them. Those are very bad. Um, same with dislocated shoulders. If you guys know who Miss Allie is, I hope you guys do. But she dislocated her shoulder and that was not very good. If you ever want to ask her how it felt, um, feel free. But that really hurt. She really didn't like it and her shoulder still messed up from it. So you guys really don't want to uh, dislocate your shoulder because Miss Allie had one and it was not very good and she still has trouble raising her shoulder up really high sometimes. So that's really not good. That was a couple years ago and she still can't lift her shoulder really, really high like that. 
So you guys don't want that. I don't want that. And I hope your parents don't want that. So please, please, please tuck your chin, hug your shoulder, I mean, hug your ear so that you guys don't hurt yourself. So guard stance, hug your head, fall down, butt, side, arm, never our head, never our shoulder, butt, side, hand. In that order. If you do it in any other order, you're gonna get hurt. So now that we understand how to do a side break fall, what can we do to make it better? The only way to make it better is to keep on practicing. So do it one, two, three, four, ten times in a row, and then try it on something harder or try it on something softer if it hurt too much. But I highly, 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 highly recommend that you do it on something hard, like hardwood, or even if you want, just go into the parking lot with your parents' permission and do maybe two side break falls so that you guys understand that if you guys ever fall down because there's ice or it's really slippery, then you can do a side break fall and not hurt yourself. Because if you don't, if you don't get used to that and you try and do a side break fall, you might panic and you might hurt yourself even more than if you didn't do a side break fall. So, again, so we're gonna do it 10 times in a row. So guard stands, like your head fall down, slap the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. So that was ten side break falls on a soft carpet. Now I'm not going to move the camera and go on to some hardwood or something because that's going to be a lot of pain for just setting up and then coming back upstairs and not having any interruptions. So I won't show that, but please do it at least two times on something hard. So that could be on your hardwood floor or in the parking lot. I don't care which one it is, just do one of them because that is going to help you a lot more than doing it on softwood I mean soft carpets or on mats at karate. So please, please, please try and do it on something hard at least two times, if not more, because that's going to help you a lot more than falling on some soft carpets or some soft mats at karate. So we did side break falls, now cat paws. I mean, yeah, cat's paws. So, cat paws, we are going to do them on our knee because that's how it is on, on the form. So, cat's paws, simple, just two cat's paws. But what I want you guys to do is focus, which means pay attention to what you're hitting with. Because if you're hitting with your fingers, that's not really good because that means you're gonna hurt yourself and you're gonna break your fingers. That's not really good. So you wanna hit with the palm heel, which is right here at the bottom. That, number one, is the hardest part of your hand. So that's going to hurt thumb really hard, but that's not gonna hurt you at all. So if even if you hit something really hard, you're not gonna hurt yourself unless it's a wall or something harder than a wall or some rocks or something like that. So if you ever have to do a cat's paw, please use the palm of your heel so that you guys don't hurt yourself. So cat's paw, cat's paw. So keep on doing those. If you guys want to do a drill, please have your parent or brother or uncle or whoever's with you hold a pillow or some sort of stuffed animal and do a cat's paws. If they're feeling really brave, have them just stand there and you're just gonna hit them with the cat's paws. But that's only if they want to. Do not make them do anything that they don't want to. So, 
I believe that's it for me. Um, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, please, please, please stay safe. So if you guys do fall down, please do a side break fall or a back break fall or a front break fall so that you don't hurt yourself. Please. That's all I want. All right. So please practice. Please keep on going. Do those palm heel strikes. I mean, not palm heel. Cast paw strikes. Keep on doing those strikes. Practice your form from last week and this week. Put them together. And that's all for me.